Okay, well, thank you very much, Nick, for um, taking the time to uh, come on the webinar to talk about your, your health in the context of uh, sort of living well during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And um, yeah, it would be quite, quite good to hear, have a little bit of background information about what your health was like and, and what it is like now. So you want to start off with maybe just telling us a little bit about um, what your health was like, let's say roughly 18, 18, 24 months ago. Sure. Um... I've had I've had quite a turbulent twenty four months health wise. Um, had a couple of strokes and um, and I had brain surgery in two thousand and nineteen, um, which is which has taken well over a year to recover from, and it caused um, it caused it caused me to suffer quite a bit of depression, really, because my brain was moving when it shouldn't have been. Um, and I went to see um, the doctors and of course they couldn't do anything for me and it got to a point where um, they, they were referring me to a psychiatrist mm -hmm. um, to see if there was anything they could do to help because, because I was constantly down in the dumps. Um, I, was, I also had quite a heavy drinking habit so I was drinking a um, bottle and a half of wine a night, mm. regularly, which, which made me feel great at the time, but the following day it made me feel rubbish. Mm. Um, and that, that went on for months and months and months and months. Um, and and, I, and it, I, just, I just didn't seem to be getting any better. Then we had the pandemic that hit, um, and I was really fed up with feeling down in the dumps the whole time. Um, so I decided I would, I'd stop drinking, uh, which I did, um, and I stopped totally for three months. And the difference um, has been incredible for me. Um, and I did, you know, people had told me, Doctor Nunn, Vicky had told me that, you know, I need to stop drinking, and, and alcohol is a natural depressant. Um, but you know, I wasn't in the right headspace to hear that. Um, as with all these things, um, you know, you need to get there yourself. Um, but I had got to a point where I was just really bored. I was bored feeling the way I felt. You know, I've, I've recently hit quite a significant birthday. It begins with a six. So I'm not going to go any further. Um, and, and in the approach to that, I'm thinking, you know, I need to do something because, you know, you run out of time to sort your life out if you're not careful. Yeah. Um, so, I, so, yeah, stopping drinking was the first thing. And, and then I... I also needed to lose weight because I was um, on the border of being diabetic when I was just inside being diabetic. I was pre-diabetic when I was diabetic. Um, but since the lockdown, I've lost between two and three stone. I won't weigh myself because I don't want to know the truth. All I know is I've got more to lose. Um, but I have lost between two and three stone. Um, and, and I don't drink anywhere, anywhere near what I used to drink. Uh, which is fabulous, and I feel I feel like a different person, Hank. Absolutely, feel like a different person. It's incredible. Which is fantastic to hear. So there's quite a big turnaround from where you were, let's say, physically, mentally, let's say, 18 months ago, to where you are now. Very much so. Yeah, very much so. Mm. All I need to do now is win the lottery, and then it would just be the total package. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick, can I? So so when you said you, because you it almost like you were almost ready for change, because you said. The, uh, you were bored and then the pandemic came, it sort of thing. So what actually made you, and how did you know actually how to change? Well, only, only because of things that people had said to me and, 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 the, and the doctors, not yourself, obviously, but your colleagues, had, had tried everything, you know, different tablets, um, different exercise regimes, all of that. Um, and I'm naturally, I'm nat well, I think I'm naturally an up person rather than a down person. And I was just fed up feeling the way I felt, you know? You can put up with it for so long. So I had, I had to do something. And drinking, for me, was a relatively easy one to stop, surprisingly. Because mm. I know that for some people, you can get some quite bad side effects from just stopping. But it was, it was almost an overnight improvement for me. Stop. I mean, I still drink now. I drink socially now, but what I try not to have is alcohol at home, and so I don't, I don't drink in the same way. So I've changed. 
I've changed the habit. It would be unrealistic to stop altogether. Um, although I might do that again, just because it's quite quite an interesting thing to go through. You feel, you feel so much better for it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent better. I I honestly I honestly feel like a different person. I've got I've got a mantle at the moment, Hank. So you know I feel rubbish anyway. But if I didn't have the manifold, I'd, I'd probably be bouncing up and down in the chair. You know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you get over that very quickly now. So, um, <laughs> but I was I was just interested to hear that obviously during the pandemic, where maybe other people would have started to maybe indulge a little bit more in either drinking or eating, you've you've almost done the opposite. Yeah, I, well, the pandemic has has been different for me because I. I for years, I've lived by myself and worked by myself. So, although it was very different and, and you know, great fun for the first few weeks, um, it, there wasn't a huge difference for me. And it, was a, and it was a kind of good time. The pressure was off, actually, in fairness, because I knew that no one else was doing anything. <laughs> um, so the pressure was off. So it was a good time to actually give it a go. And I'm really glad I have, because I... You know, I do struggle. I did struggle with my weight, and I do struggle with my weight. So I've, I've stopped eating uh, processed carbs. So I don't eat pasta, I don't eat bread, I don't eat pastry. I, c I can do it every now and then, but as a rule, I don't. Um, so I just eat, I get my carbs from vegetables, um, and I eat just meat and vegetables, and it's fantastic. I don't miss the carbs at all. You feel, um, you feel, you feel energised sufficiently? Yeah, very much so. Very much so. And being, being that much lighter as well gives you a lot more energy as well. Mm. I feel more confident in myself. Um, yeah, just generally happier. Yeah. Generally. Well, you, you look a lot happier and you, 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 you in, in both, both mentally and, and physically, I think you're in a, in a good place by the looks of it at the moment. Even being 60. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a few years ahead of me. For you in, in yeah, I know, yeah, and we'll always have a few years ahead of you. Yeah. So, so um, Nick, if there was anything you could say to somebody who was watching this or listening to this, who was maybe struggling with their health and were maybe have tried a few things and were very ambivalent because they thought this is not for me or I can't do this, what what would you say? Um, <clears throat> it's difficult uh, because. Um, it's like stopping anything, any stopping any habit. You, it doesn't matter how much someone tells you or how many times you get nagged about it, unless you're in the right space mentally, you'll never do it. Um, if you can get your head into the right space to stop or change your habits or replace your habits with something else, then I'd, I'd, I'd urge anybody to have a go because it, it really does make such a difference. Um, and the things that we rely on and we think are, are good for us are doing is good, i.e. for me, the alcohol, it's a load of rubbish. You know, it didn't. And actually changing that and the feeling, the feelings I felt when I stopped drinking were so much better than the feelings I felt when I was drinking. So there was no question about that's no question that that's what I should be doing. Um, so yeah, I would say to anyone, you have, you have to give it a go. But again, they need to understand that they have to be in the right headspace. Can I, can I just ask you, because you're obviously telling a story which is almost like going from, a, from quite a dark, bad place to quite a good place. I mean, have you had any struggles in terms of, have you had any setbacks or anything that you could say actually it's been quite difficult? Or do you, did, you, did you sail through this quite easily? Interestingly, the alcohol was easy. Hmm. Um, the eating the eating was more difficult losing the weight was more difficult um, stopping because I you know I'm because I'm a boy you know I, I live on sandwiches and rubbish you know pizza I love pizza but I don't eat pizza anymore that's fine I would do now because I know I could have one rather than having one every day I, I didn't have one every day you know Rather than having a lot, I'd have one every now and then. And getting, getting, dealing with things in moderation is much better. It's like it's like the drinking. To now say that I can go to a pub and have a drink, it's great. But not having to drink when I get home, sure, 
it's fantastic. So, so yeah, I don't know if that answered your question. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, very much so. And and thank you very much for uh, taking the time, but also uh, be, being bold enough to actually tell your story to other people as well. So thank thank you very much. For oh, very nice story. But you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're very welcome. Nice to nice to speak to you.